Are you trying to decide whether or not a French Bulldog is the right breed for you? Then you've come to the right place. While I absolutely adore Frenchies, they certainly aren't perfect. I personally think the pros outweigh the cons, but I'm going to leave that up to you to decide. Just remember that no breed is perfect and there are downsides to every breed, it's just a matter of finding what's right for you. They're charming, unique personalities. It's hard not to love a Frenchie. They're some of the goofiest, playful breeds I've ever seen, you're sure to be entertained all day by their shenanigans. They're playful, affectionate, sociable, lively, alert, easygoing, and athletic. This being said, if you're looking for a dog to go hiking with or other strenuous outdoor activities, a Frenchie probably isn't the best choice for you. That face. How can you resist Frenchie's adorable, smushed faces? Seriously. How can anybody? Great companions. Frenchies are definitely one of the best breeds for companionship. Wherever you go, they will follow. All that matters is that they're with you. If you want a dog that will lay around and watch Netflix with you or go for a walk in the park, you've found your match. This is one of the reasons why I feel French Bulldogs make such great emotional support animals. You'll feel loved 24-7. Love to cuddle. If you're looking for a dog that will lay in bed all day with you watching TV, then look no further than the French Bulldog. They're huge couch potatoes. My Frenchie won't sleep anywhere but squeezed up right against me. If I move an inch, she does too. Loyal. Frenchies absolutely adore their owners and want to always be by your side. Sure, they may show love for others, but they'll always end up running back to your lap. Smart. While Frenchies are no geniuses, they are the smartest of all the bully breeds. Their intelligence ranks somewhere in the middle when compared to all other dog breeds. They'll have absolutely no problem picking up some tricks to show off their skills, however, they can be quite stubborn, but don't mistake this for them being dumb. Hilarious. Their hilarious, quirky personalities will keep you entertained for hours. They always seem to get into mischief or do something goofy. Great around children. In my opinion, Frenchies are the perfect size for kids. They also have a friendly disposition and will get along with anybody. Frenchies are stocky enough to take any rough housing, but not big enough that they would trample a little one. Having a dog that is great around children is a huge plus even if you don't have any children yourself. Kids always want to play with my Frenchie, who wouldn't? And it's a pro that they get along nicely. Easy to groom. Frenchie's short coats make them extremely easy to groom. Just a quick bath every week or so will keep them looking sharp. Frenchies may be easy to groom, but that doesn't mean no need to groom. They shed a bit, so it's a good idea to de-shed them using something like the Furminator unless you like pet hair all around your house. Great apartment dogs. Frenchies have become so popular in cities such as NYC, ranked number one, for obvious reasons. They're some of the best apartment dogs out there. In a city like NYC where nearly everybody is living in an apartment, having a large dog that requires tons of exercise isn't the most practical thing. Just off the top of my head, there are a few reasons why Frenchies make great apartment dogs. Doesn't need much exercise or land to run around. Rarely barks. An apartment is enough space for them to have fun and run around in. Your neighbor probably will have a Frenchie friend for your pup to play with too. Don't bark a lot. This is another reason why French Bulldogs make such great apartment dogs. My Frenchie barks so rarely that she won't even bark to go potty outside, a little frustrating, but at least she isn't yippy. Cons of owning a French Bulldog. Farting. This is the worst downside to owning a French Bulldog. There's nothing worse than having your Frenchie fart in your face when you're hanging out on the couch. To make matters worse, they have some of the smelliest farts I've ever experienced. With proper diet and other techniques, you can stop your Frenchie from farting as much. Prone to separation anxiety or clinginess. One of the most common behavioral problems in French Bulldogs is easily separation anxiety. Separation anxiety in dogs is characterized by their extreme distress when you leave the house. 
It can range anywhere from mild barking and whimpering to severe breaking everything in the house while scoring a noise complaint from the neighbors. For some French bulldogs with separation anxiety, they will do anything to try and find you, even if it means they get hurt in the process. Their health issues. It's no secret that French bulldogs can suffer from a wide variety of health issues. You can minimize the risk of your Frenchie having health issues by finding a reputable, experienced breeder. Some of the most common health issues are hip dysplasia, allergies, brachycephalic syndrome, elongated soft palate, stenotic nares, pinched nostrils, cherry eye. Expensive. The price of a purebred French Bulldog ranges from $1,500 to $8,000. While $8,000 is certainly on the higher end of the spectrum, it's not uncommon to see Frenchies for $5,000 depending on the breeder. Not only is a Frenchie puppy expensive, but their health issues can quickly add up to astronomical amounts. Investing in pet insurance is always recommended for Frenchie owners. Stubborn. Part of Frenchies' personalities is their free-minded, stubborn nature. It can be pretty frustrating when your Frenchie literally couldn't care less about what you think. I have done tons of obedience training with my Frenchie, however, it's still hard to get her to listen when something else has her attention. Very needy and high maintenance. Not only can Frenchies be clingy, but they also have many other needs that must be met. For example, you have to be super careful in the summer that they don't get overheated and be wary of them jumping off of tall furniture so they don't hurt their backs. Heat and cold intolerance. Due to their brachycephalic nature, Frenchies often struggle to regulate their body temperature. For example, it will take a Frenchie much longer to cool down after running around when compared to other non-brachycephalic, not flat-faced, breeds. Remember this next time you're at the dog park, and see the other dogs running laps around your Frenchie while they struggle to catch their breath. You can accommodate for them by having plenty of water, a not too hot area, and knowing when enough is enough. Lots of shedding. It surprises me how much my Frenchie sheds especially as she has such a short coat. I have to constantly de-shed her coat using a tool like the Furminator unless I want to walk around covered in dog hair. If you suffer from dog allergies, a French Bulldog might not be for you. Frenchies are not a hypoallergenic breed. Snoring, snorting and snarling. Because of their smushed faces and something called brachycephalic syndrome, French Bulldogs often snore, loudly. They also make a bunch of other funny sounds that personally don't bother me at all, but it's something you should be aware of before getting a Frenchie. This is just one of many quirks of the breed that you're going to have to learn to love. Pulling on the leash. Frenchies are notorious for pulling on their leashes. Not only is leash pulling annoying as hell for us owners, but it also puts a lot of strain on your Frenchie's neck, spine. They're also pretty strong which makes pulling on their leash a huge pain in the butt. Frenchies are like a 100 pounds dog in a 25 pounds dog's body. So is a French Bulldog the right choice for you? It's up to you to decide that.